All right, so here we are at Prime. Uh, just got done catching up for the last hour and a half with Mike on all the new additions and the differences between the cams on the hybrid and uh, well the hybrid and legacy are obviously the same and the uh, the new cams uh, which he claims are actually more aggressive than the um, you know than the legacy cams um, of course there's a mixture of machines here to try um, pretty impressive on all the new machines they came out with uh, Pull down is very nice. The plate loaded pull down. I know for a time it wasn't available. And uh, of course, they're making again here at Prime. Um, we got the seated row, plate loaded, plate loaded tricep, and plate loaded bicep, of course, everyone's familiar with. And uh, the shoulder and the incline is pretty nice too. And. Uh, Of course, the uh, world famous abductor adductor, which to me is the the best abductor adductor uh, machine ever made. Simply because it does 180 degree angles, has a variable strength curve, and it has plenty of weight, and you can even add a heavy stack. So there's really no other abductor adductor machine like it. And of course, the famous rotary torso. Um, it's still my overall favorite number one. Uh, rotary torso. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the low back and another row, seated leg curls, shoulders. Uh, vertical chest is actually really nice. Leg presses. And this is to Deadwood Greg, Greg Outlaw. So this is, um, I was really impressed with the pullover. I can see why Greg liked it. Um, I can see one of the things that it has in common with the, uh, the David pullover and also the first generation uh, Nautilus pullover is the fact that it comes straight down, straight ahead of you. Uh, so it does feel very much like a first generation Nautilus machine or a David machine in that regard. It does not flare your elbows, and your elbows will come down directly to your sides, which is, you know, I think one of the things that we all like so much about the first-generation Nautilus units. So it's a great machine. The only um, suggestion I had for them was just a little bit more pre-stretch, which is actually a really easy modification. Right here you can see the maximum. Um, it's at uh, A. All you have to do... Very easy is to have them add a couple more holes and you'll get you'll get more than enough pre-stretch. I would probably require one more hole, maybe another one back here, and that's all the pre-stretch you need. That's the only critique I have. I think it's a great pullover unit and uh, actually very easy to, uh, to get that extra pre-stretch and they wouldn't mind doing that. So it has plenty of room to go back more, so it wouldn't even, it's just a real easy uh, pre-stretch modification if you want so um, let's see selectorized bicep and the low back machine actually if you haven't tried their low back machine it's it's a really good low back machine uh, I have the plate loader version of course I like the selectorized version as well um, plate loader version is a little bit smoother, but obviously this is more convenient. And um, so most people would probably prefer, and obviously I would get the, uh, you're wanna, you'd want to get a seatbelt attachment, which they do have there. So you just want to get the seatbelt attachment if you, for this unit. And of course we have the uh, selectorized leg extension, which is wonderful. And um, as you all know, I have the uh, plate loader version. So it would be a great one-two punch to get the plate loader version side by side with the selectorized unit. There's the curved lumbar back pad and the excellent range of motion. As you can see, you can really get a good pre-stretch on this unit too. Um, 
There's the uh, plate loaded leg curl. And one of the things I want to do is pick up another leg curl because I love leg curls and uh, as much as I like my leg curls, I really can't uh, get enough of the uh, variable uh, cam. And I think this would be a wonderful addition. It could probably use a tad bit more pre-stretch in the beginning, just a little bit, but that's nothing that can't be solved with pads. But um, it's a great, it's a great leg curl. I might be tempted to go with more of the um, the hybrid or the legacy cam on this one, but either way, it's still a wonderful unit. And uh, this leg press is actually is the plate loaded one. It's it's a great leg press. They don't have the three horns like they used to, um, so the strength curve isn't quite as adjustable as the one with the three the three horns, but it's still plenty. And uh, it's it's a nice inverted almost inverted but not not quite I don't know what the actual angle would come out to be on this one but um, it's still a very solid leg press and uh, and I like the fact that it also rotates you know how the um, pivot press from Atlantis or you know the Cybex the uh, this will rotate with your ankles and keep you straight ahead so it's a real nice feature and it's very nice inversion so, anyways, it's a great leg press. And as I've said before, the one, there was a period of time where they weren't really making this pull down, but it's a nice piece. Um, let me see what else we got. Um, and the rows are actually good too. This is one of the things that you, you, we talked about before is one of the, the reason why people like the Avenger row and maybe the Cybex plate loader row that I had brought out is that it's an underhand motion where the where the lever arm actually comes up at the end. Instead of an overhand, it's actually pulling up and in as you do your row. This is a much better way to, for biomechanically to do a row. And uh, let me just turn this camera this way. Um, and this is the dip machine. The incline and, uh, the, of course, the incline chest press and the granddaddy of the, um, this is the hybrid, um, or it's actually more of a legacy. This is actually the legacy for the lateral raise. It's the same one that I have. Um, just the best lateral raise I've ever come across. And there's plenty of room for a heavy stack. So that's one of the things we're looking into right now is to try and get the heaviest stack we can on here. Because when you externally rotate and uh, you, can, you can do an external rotation after you do your lateral raises, it involves more traps, but it's a whole other level of workout. Um, you basically get two exercises in one. Uh, when you do an external rotation and then you just continue to, up to, to move the pads right up to the side of your head. But uh, absolutely amazing, amazing lateral raise. And, uh, oh, really cool. Uh, very cool. Again, a scapula bench. So it's um, for people wanting to do heavy, some good heavy dumbbells and get your, uh, get a nice stretch. Uh, another good flat bench.